Hello viewers. From today we are starting the w3schools.com in which we will start the web designing. The introduction of the HTML. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is the standard markup language for creating web pages. It means we can create web pages by using this markup language. HTML describes the structure of web page. What is structure? This is uh, totally the structure of our website. HTML consists of series of elements. What are the elements? These are the elements. HTML tag, head tag, title tag. These are the elements. HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. These elements will tell the browser that how you have to display the content. The HTML elements label pieces of content such as this is heading. You can say my first heading. This is a paragraph. This is a link. These elements will label pieces of content. So, what editors we can use for creating web pages? HTML editors we can use Learn HTML using Notepad. Simple Notepad you may might have seen, or Notepad plus plus, or Visual Studio Code you already have seen. If you are a programmer or coder, uh, and there are so many other. Uh, editors available in the market HTML basic section we will see what are the uh, HTML documents and uh, doc type HTML now see what is doc type element and uh, declaration the doc type declaration represents the document type it will Tell us about the document type and helps browser to display web pages correctly. It must only appear once on the top here. I am showing you. We must have to write this document type HTML for creating the web page. Now we will see what are the HTML elements. An HTML element is defined by a star tag. Now you can see this is a star tag, some content here, and ending tag. This is ending tag. Now see some examples. Star tag H1, my first heading. This is content and end tag. This is the example of HTML element. Now what are attributes HTML attributes provide additional information about HTML elements additional suppose I write here the all HTML elements can have attributes attributes provide additional information about elements attributes are always specified in the start tag here you can see start tag in the start tag, not a ending tag. Suppose A is our start tag of about the anchor. This is the attribute href hyperreference. Hyperreference about the w3schools.com website. This is the attribute of our anchor tag. This attribute will open this website to show in the browser when we click on the visit w3schools.com this website would be open now let's see in the example try it yourself editor now as we click on the visit w3schools.com you will see the result Now another attribute, the source attribute. 
this is the tag img tag and this is attribute source attribute in the image tag it will uh, tell the source about this image now some other attributes about the width and height now this is our html element image has another attribute about the source width and height these three attributes are used for this image source element the alt attribute alt you can see alternate when we fetch or we retrieve image uh, by using image uh, element and this alternate word would show if this uh, picture would not be shown either this picture may not be available on our server or the internet speed is slow the alternate code would be appeared I'm showing you the example here now suppose here I rename this photo which is not available on the server now you would see that girl with a jacket would be written in the output section you can see girl with a jacket so this is the alt text now style attribute we can style our paragraph element color red now this sentence would be colored red now let's see you can see here in the example this is the result of this color now suppose I change here the color you will see the result blue now these are the attributes which I wanted to show you now we would meet in the next video by talking about these headings paragraphs and so on so see you bye bye